What is up, YouTube? This is Virginia the Buckeye Gamer here. Sorry, that probably looked really corny and stupid. Um, so if you can guess by the title of this video, I am super excited for this unboxing that I'm about to do today. Went to GameStop and picked up the Cassandra Collector's Edition of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now, um, before I show you guys anything, I wanted to give you a little heads up on a couple of things. So, the Cassandra Edition of Assassin's Creed Odyssey was exclusive to GameStop. Um, I had initially wanted to purchase one of the Collector's Editions through the Ubisoft store, um, but the way my finances were, that was not something I was able to do, so I settled on this one. Um, so basically what it comes with is just the game and a collector statue of Cassandra, which is one of the playable characters in the game. So without further ado, um, I did want to tell you guys one other thing and you will see why once I show you. Um, while I'm not disappointed at all in the content that I got, I'm slightly disappointed into how it was presented. Um, and the, uh, Oh, the one of the employees over at GameStop, he's actually a really good friend of mine, um, had explained to me that this collector's edition was worked a little differently. But again, as I go along, I'll ex explain everything to you guys. So um, what I'm going to show you guys first, I actually got um, something else in here too that wasn't part of the collector's edition that I bought separately, but we'll get to that last. Um, so first off, we have the gold edition of Assassin's Creed Odyssey with the steel book. Very nice case, though, I will I will say. Um, I didn't open up, open up any of this, so this is all going to look new to me, and I wish I had an unboxing knife. That is something that I need to invest in. And I just now realized this didn't have shrink wrap on it initially. Okay, but that's all right. So you have the nice plastic cover on the steel book. So let's just pop this puppy out. Oh, it's in there nice and secure. A little closer look at the steel book itself and then on the inside you have the game and um, some of the usual paperwork there's a download code in here which I am NOT going to show you guys because it's for the season pass and I pay for that myself so I intend to use it um, but anyway um, the CD looks nice again the steel uh, steel case the cover all of it looks really good so it'll look nice on my shelf um, and then the other thing that was included of course was the collector's edition Cassandra statue. So we're just gonna, well, I'll, have you, I'll let you guys look at the box really quick. So you have Cassandra, uh, and it says Assassin's Creed Odyssey on the top, and then the logo there. The, bo the box, it's fairly simple, but I like it. You know, I don't, I don't necessarily like boxes that are too flashy. Um, so let's just get her out of here very carefully so I don't drop her. And get all this plastic junk off. Well, again, I like the statue. I do, I do think the statue is very well done. Um, very unique. Uh, well, I don't want to say unique design, but um, very well crafted. Um, I do like the detail on it. You know, I have seen statues that are a lot nicer a lot more detailed but i do like i really like this one um i do think again that this particular edition was worth the money but again i'll go over my complaints a little uh again towards the end of the video so again i'll see if i can get you guys to get a closer look and then you have the assassin's creed logo and the other thing that i have purchased was the collector's edition strategy guide um now again this was not part of collector's edition i have purchased this separately um only reason because i had a little extra money and it looked nice <laughs> those are my only two uh caveats for this um so we're just gonna get the shrink wrap off of this there's a couple little extras here it does include a world map poster so which i'm guessing that's what this is here okay that's just some some advertisements, get a digital digital guide there, which I'm not too interested in. But here is the poster. We're just gonna very gently unfold this. 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this all in the single shot. I'm going to have to move it around a little. But there, there's the poster, nice and large. And then on the back, kind of hard to see. Okay, it looks like we got Cassandra and Alexios on the back here. Very cool. Don't know if I'm going to hang this up yet. I'm kind of on the fence about that. But we'll see. See if I can get this folded back the way it should be. There we go. Okay. So, and we'll take a look then at the strategy guide. I don't want to spoil anything for myself, so I'm just going to give you guys heads up here. I mean, it's a strategy guide, so you're going to have an overall view of the characters, the various weapons, various areas that you explore, yada yada. So, but I like, again, I like the quality, nice, nice, uh, hard cover there. So I'm going to set these aside and that's it. Um, so again, like I said in the beginning of the video, the content that I got, I, I do like, I'm satisfied with that. Um, but again, I just wish, I don't know if this was a, the doing of Ubisoft or GameStop or a little bit of both. I just wish the presentation was a little more together, you know, maybe included a couple other little things. Um, but I mean, I knew I was just going to get the game and the statues, so I'm not complaining again about the content that I got. Um, I just wish it was done up a little better, presented a little nicer. Again, the employee that I had talked to, he is a good friend of mine. Um, he did apologize to me saying that this is how they had to do it. And I, I, I held no anger against him. You know, that is what it is. Um, but if you do get the Cassandra edition from GameStop, if you have not picked it up as of yet, um, it did get released today, October 2nd. Um, the standard edition of the game comes out October 5th. So if you got the Gold or Ultimate edition, which I think the Ultimate edition is a little bit of a ripoff, you don't really get too much extra stuff aside, um, I think, from some upgrades for your ship and some um, armor... Um, some other stuff that you could probably get as you go along through the game. Um, I wasn't too interested in the ultimate, um, but again, if you got this particular edition, you might be a little disappointed. I'm just going to tell you guys right now, um, I do think from what I've seen in the Ubisoft store, I think those editions are nicer. Um, but again, this was easiest for me to get, and I wanted to get a collector's edition regardless. So again, I'm not, I'm not going to be angry. Um, I just, again, as I've said a million times before, I just wish it was presented a little nicer. Um, but overall, I'm excited to start the game. Um, I'm excited to get this statue put in its proper place, along with the strategy guide and all my other Assassin's Creed merchandise. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me rambling on about one of my all-time favorite series. Um, so stay tuned, actually, within the next couple of days because I am going to do some gameplay of this um, and I and just intend to talk about a few different things like my thought about where the franchise is going and I also wanted to share my personal history not the overall history of how the series started um, just my personal history with Assassin's Creed um, and how it, beca how it um, came to be one of my all-time favorite franchises. Alright guys take care.